What's up, guys? I hope everybody had a, a wonderful day. A um, lot of action today in the room, um, and just um, just some really great trades. I think uh, you know I had the least headaches today, and I, I think I had some of the the most amazing uh, entries. And because of that, I think I uh, ended up missing out on uh, on some profits. Usually, I'm used to uh, a little bit of a headache, and and uh, the fact that uh, everything just kind of worked perfectly. Um, I, I think it kind of caused me to take some gains uh, prematurely. So uh, anyway, um, you know, yesterday I had a little bit of a slow start, and I kind of took my my foot off the gas a little bit just because you know I, I was um, I was involved in SE yesterday. Um, you know I thought that uh, we might have a, a, a pullback at some point during the day. I had started in early on a on a starter like usually uh, usual. Usually I'll. I'll, I'll take a, a small piece just to kind of get a feel for it as far as like the entries I had some really good shorts you know into the into the pullbacks or at least into the, the back side of this move uh, but the line that uh, it was holding all day was basically around 20 2008 or so and so it finally started to crack and I thought hey you know what we, we might actually have a nice little pullback towards 1950 so I didn't take any off and at that point I was actually up nicely on the trade uh, but I ended up just kind of grinding along and, and squeezing me out the rest of the way. So <clears throat> one thing I didn't do was size, you know, by add, 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 adding, and um, that kept me safe. Uh, and also on WTW yesterday, um, I had basically shorted into the ramp um, into the 1920s, 1930s. I added a little bit into the 70s. And I never really had any size, so I just kind of let it trade out, faded off, and you know the trade ended up being okay, but it wasn't uh, really anything that I was uh, too amped up about or too excited, or, or uh, it really wasn't really a um, uh, an edge. So um, other than that, then there was just uh, you know MTP yesterday, and um, MTP offered a, a nice opportunity, but. Uh, you know, I, I ended up holding a flyer over. So basically, you know, if, if I nail a trade, sometimes I like to keep a, a quarter. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I decided to, to hold some over for today. But unfortunately, it just gapped down and uh, it faded, which I, I knew was the risk. Um, so I started out on the in the red on that today. Um, but then just, uh, you know, hit the ground running with uh, JD first. So JD, I started into the... Um, sure, and and again, just like I kind of prefaced by saying most of the time, you know, just because you see arrows, does it doesn't tell you size? It doesn't tell you, um, you know, much other than I entered here, I entered here, I entered here, right? So usually when I dabble in there, um, you know, I start off very very lightly, very small. Um, and a situation where if I wanted to be short ten or twenty thousand shares of something, then I would probably dabble in about um, five hundred or a thousand shares at a time, and then based on uh, the action that I see and and uh, depending on how it reacts at certain levels, then at that point I might size in more aggressively. So maybe I have five hundred or a thousand, and then all of a sudden I have ten based on something that I that I had seen. So um, I just always like to say that just because sometimes you see candles and you're like, well, it was an ad, 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 or it was, uh, you know, he covered all of this here and you don't really know the story behind them until you actually kind of go, go through it. Um, so I ended up sizing and I was pretty confident on this trade. Uh, I liked the, the risk to reward. Um, so basically I started in. <clears throat> got a feel for it and I didn't want to get into a situation where um, I had too many you know too soon so I, I went ahead and added in added in uh, a little bit at a time and uh, I actually left I went to the office um, just uh, in this time frame right here um, just to kind of give you an idea that you know I wasn't sized uh, to the gills and then uh, when I get to the office I start kind of ramp up stuff again ramp up stuff again so I started to actually size in uh, to the trade, I started to get very confident with it, um, and like the, the the risk to reward off this um, off this uh, high. So then, uh, as it came in towards the open, I wanted to go ahead and cover at least um, half, and uh, you know before the the market opened. So I went ahead and covered and covered, and uh, got a nice flush out. But unfortunately, I had covered the majority of it, um, you know before <laughs> before that flush. And look. You can go back and look at every single one of these JDs, AMDs, uh, SE yesterday, things like that. 
And you know what? This first wick, you never really know, right? This could have ripped right up. So I don't look back and say shoulda, coulda, woulda because that's just the wrong way because this could have ramped up. So I would have been happy that I went ahead and locked them in. So at any rate, it, yeah, it would have been nice, but you know, it is what it is. So uh, I ended up going back a few times and uh, made a, a small chunk more, but nothing really worth shouting about because my next one I started to get involved with was uh, BILI. And uh, I was very familiar with this name. Uh, I traded it, uh, I think it was this day right over here, uh, or this day. I don't remember exactly which one I was trading, but familiar with the name. I usually have a pretty good read on it, and I was just, I, I was really happy with the way that it, uh, things uh, things went down today. And uh, so I basically shorted uh, 20, uh, 2050s all the way down, and I never actually covered all of it until right here. Um, 19. So I did cover along the way a little bit, but I resized in, covered down a little bit, covered more, resized in, and uh, covered it all. So at that point, I went ahead and started to kind of dabble just in case it stayed heavy. So I did have a little bit of an ad 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 here, um, but again, huge padding and uh, basically kind of dabbled in, dabbled in, um, and I didn't really have any size until. Um, actually the rest of the day. Um, I didn't really size into any of these trades. Um, just uh, probably about a, a fifth to a fourth of what I had you know, on the way down. Um, so anyway, this, is, this was nice. It ended up coming in, uh, re-added a little bit, covered, re-added, covered. Um, reshorted into the ramps and this just kind of was a scratch out the rest of the day. So um, overall, perfect off the open. Uh, again, uh, minimized, but uh, at the same time, this is a perfect example of, you know what, you should get in the habit of paying yourself when you nail something that hard, that fast, but it is okay to go back into the trade, um, you know, or re-add into it. So, you know, for example, if you're short 10,000 shares and you cover five, it's okay to re-add the five or two or three more, whatever you want to do. Um, but just keep in mind, the further that you chase it down, you know, you probably don't want to have your most exposure on uh, as you're chasing it down. But uh, at any rate, great job, great, uh, great nail. And, um, you know, you never really know how much range these things can give. Um, so it's always good to be in the habit of, um, you know, kind of locking in. Now, on that same note, LB, you can see I chased it. And um, keep in mind, this is uh, a, a chase entry. So the, um, I don't know where the prior closed. Let me see here. LB. Um, go back a little bit. Uh, prior closed right over here. So I'm looking at this thing, and it's starting to kind of set up. And I was thinking that maybe we go, you know, potentially red to green. And um, actually came back pretty nicely late day. Totally missed that. But um, again, a situation like this, this is not a size trade, right? This is a, I chased it just in case. Um, if I wanted to be in, you know, five or 10,000 shares, is 500,000 share chase. Just to kind of be in there, I want to be involved, I want to have an eye on it. If it starts to go, if it starts to break over uh, that 26 level and starts to firm up, then I can go ahead and, and you know, move along um, and, and scale into the trade. And, uh, you know, a situation like this uh, is like TLRA yesterday where, you know, you might have missed the entry off the week open, but you can always chase a little bit versus VWAP risk, and then you, it allows you to scale in through the day because of that initial chase. I know chase is a bad word, but chase with a plan um, can make sense. So anyway, uh, chase entry for me, so I just put, basically put on a couple flyers. Uh, it pulled back. Uh, I thought it was gonna kind of reverse right there, but uh, it didn't, so I went ahead and took the loss right there. Moved on, uh, I figured, you know, it's below VWAP, I'm not gonna bother with it, with it. it's not really worth it. So, that was great. Uh, RKDA, so RK, RKDA was um, a nice way to wake up. Uh, as I had uh, said on the, uh, on scan on the 25th, um, for those of you guys that uh, may or may not remember, um, I don't know if this all fits, but uh, 
I don't know if this is going to fit on here or not, but uh, basically started in on Friday. Uh, so this was uh, over here towards um, towards the fives, uh, and basically I was looking for a uh, a five. Let me just put this on the daily chart. I was looking for five to basically hold, um, and if I can take out today. See it a little bit better, but basically this day is the day that it ramped up, and I got excited about it as a potential. Then the next couple of days it started to hold base, so that was interesting to me. So I started to put on um, a swing trade and thinking that you know they these guys need to put out some some news or, or something, but somebody came in there and loaded the boat, and uh, then they just kind of had supported it since. So I just was following that buyer in, and ended up working out. So. Right away, I woke up with uh, a great, um, great gift, but I unfortunately sold them uh, at seven seventies and eights uh, before it ramped all the way up here. So I, I, I sold a little too early, and you know it is what it is. But uh, at any rate, I got short nine uh, twenties. I covered partial. Uh, I covered down to a half, and then I covered the last. Uh, uh, I covered half. I covered a quarter, and then I covered the last quarter right here. Um, then I reshorted, uh, and then I, um, I I covered, I reshorted and uh, covered. I actually got long, uh, and then I sold a little bit, and then I got short right over here, and uh, and then covered some, uh, and then I, I noticed the stuff move, so I went ahead and added a bunch more, and then covered into the washout, covered the rest. <laughs> And uh, then I was done with the trade. So I was really happy with the way that this one went today. Uh, no headaches. I didn't step in front of it. Uh, you know, I could have, would have, should have uh, added in here, but we don't play that game here. I just, uh, I wanted to be um, adding after. I didn't want to be getting aggressive into the um, into the parabolic moves and end up with a, you know, ruining uh, a part of my day or something like that. So. Um, yeah, I would have liked to, but uh, I also uh, only had so much allocation, so um, I wasn't able to get more, uh, which I would have loved to, to do. So I was kind of trying to be patient with uh, what I was going to do and, and where I was going to enter with all of that. Um, and then, let's see, CRBP, this was fantastic. This was a hit piece, uh, research report, uh, and uh, it just it, it worked perfectly. We talk about this all the time, how to trade uh, hit pieces and um, you know it's not just about chasing an entry because if you do that you're gonna get ran over you're gonna get ran over more times than not uh, Citron comes out with stuff and it pulls back it rallies back right and then you find out and just like if you guys though that uh, went to traders for a cause just like Andrew had said you know within that that first uh, hour he knows if he's right or wrong and um, or however long I think maybe even within 20 minutes I think he said um, but right away, I, I could tell, and that's why I had mentioned it in, in the room. Um, you know, notice this activity. Notice how it's staying uh, weak versus view up, and, and I believe that there was a seller present. So I chased a little bit just to, as an entry, but I just kept on adding, adding, adding because it kept on proving that it was heavy. Um, and I also traded this in E Trade, so. Um, I, uh, I I basically put on the same short uh, a little bit less. This was 770s. Um, I think all in my average was about 760s here, um, and then my uh, swing entry uh, is 765 average. Um, but anyway, it flushed out. Uh, got a little bit of a cover. Got a little bit more of a cover. Um, this one was E Trade, um, but it came back up. Uh, covered some uh, down here. Got some great ads versus VWAP, and then I went ahead and uh, covered along the way down, um, and took out basically the day trade, uh, and then just keeping the the swing trade. And I had covered more than half of the the swing trade as well. I have about a fourth left, um, and I'm very hopeful for more upside tomorrow so that uh, we can trade the backside again. Um, but really, really great uh, thought process, great uh, feedback. Um, and uh, the market uh, agreed, and uh, so that was that was great. Just a few other small ones. TME, you can see, I just kind of joined the trend. I was thinking that it could potentially unwind, um, and pretty much scratched out, lost probably a dime. I never really scaled into that. Um, HPQ, same thing. I just kind of joined the trend just in case we got a nice unwind, uh, and then I just covered. Uh, CWH, same thing. I just kind of joined the fade, and uh, it did just enough to get me out. I started to kind of think, oh, you know what? This isn't an A plus setup. I'm not. I'm going to leave it alone. And same thing with box. 
box. I got short into the ramp, uh, and then it didn't. It didn't. Uh, if you if you guys remember WTW yesterday, uh, had ripped up, and then it slammed down and it stayed heavy. And this thing didn't get heavy. So my plan was to short into the parabolic and then uh, scale if it stayed heavy. It didn't scale. I mean, it didn't stay heavy. So I, I said the hell with it and I got right out. Um, so I think that's, uh, that's it. AMRN was the only other really trade that I took. And I just kind of um, short joined the trend as well and, and you know just covered flat. So... Sometimes uh, this is this is my my goal of joining trends, right? Is you know you have your Billy B I L I, your, your JDs, your um, CRBPs that price action confirms it moves away from your entry. You can keep on scaling into the winner, and it turns into a big win. Or you have your um, your B O Xs, your C W Hs, um, and uh, your A M R Ns, where you know you start in, it doesn't really do much, and then. Um, you know, you, it, it's just a scratch out. So uh, one other one that I just forgot, uh, CVNA, which is a loser. Um, a chase entry, but I, I just kind of put on a um, uh, put on a short. And again, you know, I'm not sized into this trade at all. I'm just going in a few hundred shares at a time just to kind of get a feel for uh, liquidity and the offers and things like that. Uh, I never really had much size on this trade, but I got a great cover. It's... Uh, so I, I kind of was expecting it to go back, test VWAP, and then if it started to set up camp and hold over VWAP, then my plan was to get out. Um, so I ended up fading, and then it started to higher lows, higher lows, consolidate. It looked like it was going to go. So I got a great cover. Um, and then it ramped up, and I said to myself, oh boy, well, you know, maybe, maybe this will be a good short uh, and, uh, you know, pull back, and then I can start to scale again. So I did that, and... Um, and it didn't. It just kind of went right, right up. So my game plan was to get short, and you know, as a starter, and then scale in a little bit, and if it started to work, and then scale in if you up held. But if my game plan is for it to peak out here and fade off, then I don't want to overstay. So I went ahead and just said the hell with it. I don't care what price it is. I don't care what it is because I'm supposed to be right or right out, right? So um, I wasn't wasn't planning on, on just letting this thing go against me, just like SE yesterday, things like that. So um, I think that this was a really good stop out for me um, because, you know, forget the, the whole loss, even if it was flat. What it does is it takes your attention away from this name and you can focus on something positive um, because so many times we just sit in a, a, a name and we think, oh, well, you know, maybe it'll come back. Maybe it'll do this. Maybe it'll do that. And what that does is it puts you... You know, your, your, your odds are with the market and, you know, my, my odds, I'd rather be with an edge. And if you're just, all right, let's just see what the market does, then, you know, that's not really trading. So that's why I got out of this one and, uh, and moved along. So that's it. Uh, if you guys have questions, reach out. Uh, hopefully you had a fantastic day as well. Um, and uh, I think that's about it.